Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and this is Pedaling Forward 365. I give you travel tips and tricks on a budget. And welcome to 2020 and the first video. And I'm continuing with my travel vlog series of Sicily, where today I am heading off to Etna, which is Europe's most active volcano. Now, today I'm gonna talk about how to get there, how to do it on a budget, and just my overall experience. So let's dive in. Okay, so to start off, how to get to Etna. Well, unfortunately, there is no public transportation. So your two options are to go by a tour company or to drive. And if you are driving through Sicily and have a car, um, it's super easy to get there and it's also free parking. So you don't need to worry about that. Now, if you want to sit back and relax, there are a ton of tour companies that go to Etna on all sorts of different um, levels. There's wine, um, like a wine tasting in Etna tour. You could do Alcantara Gorge, which if you missed last week's video, I will put a link up here, which is where I went and it is a beautiful gorge to check out. And they also have Jeep sunset tours and all sorts, like anything you guys can imagine, they have it. But the tour company that I used um, is SAT Tours and they had one of the cheaper options and I will link their um, website below. I don't get a kickback, kick back. Um, so feel free to use them or not. And the basic tour is 35 euros, and that's gonna take you to the base, which is 1,900 meters. So let's jump on and head out. Okay, so now that I'm at the base of Etna, I had a couple options. I'm gonna and put a I'm map up here so that you guys can see what the different levels are um, on Etna. Now, the first is you can just go hike around the dormant um, volcanic craters up to 2,500 meters. And if you don't wanna go hiking, you can always take the gondola and the gondola is 15 euros each way. Um, if you do use the tour company, uh, you can purchase the tickets um, on the bus before you get there if you decide to just do the basic. And then you also have the option to go to 3,000 meters, which is the highest you can go with SAT. Um, I'm gonna talk about another company here in a second, but SAT uses um, a company that they take you in a specialized Jeep up to the 3000 meters and then you can walk around from there. But you can't go past the 2500 meters without a volcanic guide. Now, the other company that I was going to use 
was called Go Etna, and I will link them also below. Now, they are an actual trekking company um, with Voltan volcanic guides, and you need to call them ahead of time because Etna is a active volcano, and so every day they'll let you know how high you can actually hike, but the highest is 3,350 meters. Now, with them, um, you do have to rent special shoes um, to go trekking, and you will trek from the 2,500 meter point. So, uh, with their company, it's 85 euros, and then I think it was about 10 euros to rent the shoes. Um, but you have to be there before 11. So, this is, I think, if you're driving around probably your better option than going through the tour companies um you get to see more and that's why i was going to use them and the only reason i didn't use them is because etna had a massive eruption um the day before i was gonna go so unfortunately seeing etna at the top was not my cards in this trip but I still walked around um, up to the 2,500 meters. Um, so let's go check out some of the dead craters. Okay guys, so this is the lava flow of 1982. So it takes about 30 years, they said, for the vegetation to start growing back. Okay, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends who may be going to Sicily. Next week, I am off to Syracuse in the south of Sicily on another tour group. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. And until next time, keep pedaling forward.